Deputy with the latest in the world of sports. Welcome back. Let's get ready with the latest in the world of sports. Now, the National Sevens teams, Shuja and Morans, will use the Safari Sevens as preparations for the Sapporo Olympic qualifiers in Japan's next year, as well as for the World Rugby Series next season. And as Jeff Mogiri reports, Shuja will leave nothing to chance. Kenya Morans and Shujas begin that campaign to win the Safari 7 title tomorrow. Both teams are ready to contend for the title. With the return of experienced players, the likes of Collins in Jera and the collab of young tanks and the blend of the experience is an assurance of a better start in the Safari Sevens and in the near future. Some of the teams that have shown up for this year as Safari Sevens are very, uh, very equal team and we are taking our, our time and we are really preparing very well. We know it will be a, a big task for us over the weekend and through our fans that are going to show up over the weekend, we know we'll be able to conquer everything. So, I think it's very important to Peter who has been able to experience this with HSBC. And now, as you can see, the people who have been mentioned in the tab, the people who have been able to play with HSBC, they have been able to play with HSBC. And we have been able to play with HSBC, and we have been able to play with HSBC, and we have been able to play with HSBC, and we have been able to play with HSBC and qualifiers. The 47 tournament kicks off tomorrow with teams like Spain and France aiming to shoot down their opponents. Samurai will be out to defend their title. Jeff Mogire, KTN News. Moving on, the Kenya Premier League resumes this weekend with three mouth-watering marches scheduled to be aired live on KTN News. Wazito FC plays Kakamega Homeboys at 2 p.m. in the first of the two headers to be live on KTN News. The second match pits former league giants AFC Leopards hosting Western Steamer at 4 p.m. On Sunday, we will be airing the Kariobangi Sharks and Gormahia Cracker at 4 p.m. Moving on, aspirants are in county electoral positions in Narok, Kajiado, Kericho, Bomet, Kakamega, Vihiga, Bungoma and Busia counties submitted their nomination papers to the FKF Electoral Board Secretariat ahead of the upcoming FKF elections. This is my second term in the year 2011. I'll make sure that I'm a team 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 that I'm na kuna mwelekeo na iko wazi kwa sababu kuna 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 njia mingi katika mtandao imekuwa habari tofauti tofauti imekuwa katika kuna, kuna, kuna electoral board ya website kwa kuna njia mingi ya kuweza kupata habari na kwa hivyo labda tu wale mtu ambaye labda ambaye ana shida zake ndi labda atakuwa na tatizo kama lakini unajua alipia vinyo wale wahenga walisema ali na macho ambayo itazama the 5000 runners are expected to take part in the 11th edition of the Isaiah Kiplagat Ndalat Ga Cross Country Championships that will be held in Nandi County set to take place tomorrow. The race attracts six categories, which include the 500 meters, four kilometers, six kilometers, eight kilometers, 10 kilometers for senior men and women and two kilometers for the veterans. The preparations are almost complete. We are now setting up the, the, the tents only. But the course has already been marked, you can see. It is marked, two kilometer circuit, loop circuit. Therefore, we'll be doing very many, very many athletics events using the two kilometer circuit. Tomorrow, we shall be expecting to have uh, a race for the young ones. Age four, from age four, we shall have those, those primary school going children participating in it. We shall have the secondary school going children 
they'll be here. We shall have the junior category, which is always the age of under 20, those who are just after transiting from school and they are still nowhere, under 20, we shall have it. We shall have the senior category, which is the elite categories, and we expect uh, the very best in this field.